Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? So today I'm going to show you three different ways how to make an egg sandwich. Now, they're not going to be anything special or outlandish or anything like that. Um, and before you say anything, I know everybody has their own way of making an egg sandwich. Now, I'm not talking about an egg salad sandwich where you hard boiled eggs you know, and then put them on dry bread. I'm talking about an actual egg sandwich, a hot egg sandwich. So the first thing we're gonna do, so we put our butter. I'm using a single skillet, a single egg skillet. And since it's only one egg, we only need a little tiny bit of butter. And we'll turn the stove onto medium. While we are waiting for that, I will go ahead and set my toast in the toaster. Don't push it down yet though. Push it down too soon, then it'll be cold by the time the egg is done. And I'm going to help this butter along, stirring it to help it melt. Because you want it nice and melted before you put your egg in. Okay, now we're going to crack our egg. Dump it in the skillet. Um, you can put whatever seasonings you want on it. I usually only put pepper, because uh, that's all I really like on my eggs is pepper. Ooh, I think my pepper shaker is about empty. I will have to do something about that after we're done here. Now I'm gonna let that cook. Um, I prefer my eggs to be over medium. So what that means is that I like my egg, the egg yolk, um, runny, but not so runny that uh, it makes a huge mess. And I like the white part of my egg to be completely cooked. Uh, otherwise I won't be able to eat it. If it shows any kind of runniness, um, it makes me gag. Um, one thing you should know, I'm not very good at turning eggs over, so if it looks like I'm struggling to turn my egg over, it's because I am. Because, you know, I'm a genius that way. Uh, I've never been good at turning eggs over at all, ever. But we will try. This is not quite ready to flip over yet, but it's getting there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push my toast down. Make sure the dial is not too high. I like my toast. I like soft toast. I like not super soft. But I don't like it super crunchy either. I am kind of picky. I apologize. Okay, so the egg is now ready to flip over. The question is, can I flip it over without destroying it? Yay! I did it. See, I flipped it over. Perfectly. Pat myself on the back for that one. Never been able to turn an egg over that perfectly. That's awesome. Okay, so we just need to wait for the toast to get done. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Okay, I'll butter my toast. Take the egg and 
lay it on the toast, just like so. Put the skillet over on the cool burner so it can cool off. Make sure to turn the oven off. Put our other piece of toast on top of that. And there you have an egg sandwich. Okay. Now on to the second egg. So for this egg, you're gonna need a small dish like this one. You don't want it too deep and an egg and you're going to need a paper towel so we're going to put a little bit of butter in the dish crack your egg i know y'all think you got y'all are think gonna think i'm crazy for this but just hear me out okay crack your egg put it in the dish Season it however you like. Again, I use pepper, and I think my pepper is about done. Okay, now you want to put the paper towel over the egg. Before we do anything with that, we're going to put our two pieces of toast in. Go ahead and push those down. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. Now, <clears throat> when that's done, if it's still, if it's to your liking, that's fine. If it's still a little runny for me, if it's still a little runny, um, I'll put it in for an additional between 10 and 30 seconds depending on how runny it really is. But something very important that you should know, I learned this the hard way because I made this mistake once and once only. Sometimes if it doesn't pop in the microwave, you need to take a butter knife and stab the center of it because if you don't, when you bite into it, it's going to explode. Trust me when I tell you, I had a fat lip for a week. So now I make sure that if it doesn't explode in the microwave, I always make sure to stab it. So let's get our egg out. And it looks like it is nicely done. I'm going to go ahead and stab it again anyway because it doesn't look like it actually exploded. Perfect. Okay, grab our toast. What are these two pieces? And then we take our egg, get it unstuck from the dish, and then gently slide it onto the toast, like so. And there you have a microwave egg for when you're in a hurry. It does save a little bit of time if you don't have time to, you know, actually fry an egg on the stovetop. Okay, set that aside. Put these in the sink. Now, on to our third egg. Okay, now for our third egg sandwich. So, this one's gonna be back on the stovetop and we're going to be doing a scrambled egg. So first we're going to put some egg in this, or bleh, some butter in this skillet. Turn the stove on to medium. Okay, and I'm going to be using two eggs. Okay, we're going to put two more pieces of toast in the toaster. Don't 
Don't push those down yet though, because the toast will get done a lot quicker than probably the eggs will. <clears throat> I hear you, Striker. The audience hears you too, I'm sure. <laughs> Silly girl. Okay, we're gonna help this butter melt along here. Now, you can scramble your eggs one of two ways. Um, well, what I mean by that is you can either crack both of the eggs directly into the skillet and stir them up that way, or you can crack them into a bowl uh, and whisk them. Add your seasonings in there. Um, add a little bit of milk if you like them a little fluffier. Um, for today's show, I'm just going to put the eggs directly into the skillet. Okay, so egg number one. Add. Okay, so now we're gonna stir this up. So that it becomes a scrambled egg, not a fried egg. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push my toast down. Okay, so the egg is done. We're gonna go ahead and turn the skillet off. And I'm gonna move this skillet over to the other burner. And my toast is taking forever to cook. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop this up. because it's just taking too long. Whew, hot. Okay, now, add a little bit of butter to each slice of toast. Take your scrambled eggs and very gently just pour it on top of your toast. Just like so. And now you have a beautiful scrambled egg toast. So that concludes how to make three different egg sandwiches. I hope you all enjoyed the show and I hope that you all hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that down below and don't forget to smash that bell so you get all my notifications. Thanks and I'll catch you all in the next video.